Welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Today is operation make the C10 as loud as we possibly can without cutting the exhaust completely off. Let's not waste any more time. We'll jump right into it. All right, guys, as you know, we have some Flowmasters, I believe they are, on the C10 right now. Sounds pretty good, but wanted to make it a little more rowdy. So that's where Black Widow came in. They're nicknamed the Neighbor Haters. They are a six inch muffler. We're gonna throw these on the truck. I got some turndowns. I have a little bit of extra pipe we're gonna use too to send them further towards the back of the truck. But supposedly on the box, they say, supposed to help without a harsh drone sound so hopefully yeah these guys don't drone once we get them thrown on we're gonna do a before and after test for you guys I got a decibel reader app thing so let's fire up the truck real quick see what it reads before we'll get the seat in the air start cutting chopping throw the new setup on there and see how we like it cold but we hit 108.1 max 108's our goal we'll see we'll see what we hit with uh, the new setup let's get these things open and see what they look like oh yeah about how you expect I do. this can be a problem are there even any baffles in there or? no just literally there's nothing in there oh that's good oh, this is gonna work great okay yeah so they say there's their hourglass Oh, okay. Well, that'll help a little bit. Yeah, but... little baffle, little baffles in there. But other than that, it is da, 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 it is straight through. <laughs> there's no front or back because there's nothing in it. So you can turn it either way you want, I guess. We're going to do something like this with a little bit more in there and turn it like that. Bang. <laughs> Done. Okay, let's get the truck up in the air. We'll see what's under there, what we're working with so far. We might leave it because I'm scared now, <laughs> but we'll see. I'm not, I'm excited. Let's do this. Yeah. So here we are, obviously, under the truck. That's what we're working with. Ow, So yeah, we're just gonna unhook them from the header right there, zip them off, run extra pipe wherever the muffler ends. I have some extra three inch <clears throat> to get it out to this hanger here. And then, yeah, we have our turndowns that'll end up somewhere in this area right here. So we're gonna get these unbolted and get to chopping.
Dwayne's getting this wrapped up for us. We're just packing it in place right now. Here's kind of what we got going so far. Got our extension right there. Obviously our sad excuse for a muffler. Got our turn downs pointed out. It ain't even close to tight. No, that's good. <laughs> I'm looking at the gap. <laughs> no, that's good. Okay, then we'll just see how this looks when we're done with it. Oh, it's gonna be good, dude. No, I don't know what you're talking about. All right, let's take it down. I'm not welding standing underneath this shit the whole time. I'm burn the fuck out of myself. Yeah, but so anyways, what's gonna happen when we tighten this down actually? <laughs> it's gonna look. Is everything tacked how you want it? Yep. Okay, I guess we'll just see what happens now, folks, and uh, we'll pull it down, we'll stitch right it up, and we'll be right back after this short commercial break. Guys, we got everything stitch welded in place and bolted up. It's looking good and even. Actually, it does look pretty good. I think it does. I think it turned out really good. So what we went ahead and did is we just stitched weld everything in place about every two inches. Did about a two inch weld instead of welding it all the way around. We got everything bolted up. Everything's lined up. Time for a sound test. We'll lower her down and see what she sounds like. All right, guys. Moment of truth. We'll pull out the decimeter. Probably ain't gonna read. It just says no. Yeah, it just says no. So last one was 90 something. It was 103. Or 103, was it? Okay. Uh, no, it was in the hundreds. Okay. 111, something like that. Well, no, you guys will know. It'll be on the video. Yeah, let's fire this thing up. Apparently I talk at 80 decibels, so I'm a loud motherfucker. I'm scared. <laughs> So that, I would say, so the old exhaust was about the same. So we hit 110 when we revved it. I revved it probably a little bit higher just now than we did. I think the old exhaust was probably just, it was throaty. Yeah. It was more throaty and loud. This is more rattly and uh, a little more this radical. almost more open headery, but it's not like. Yeah, yeah I wonder I mean, why. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> it does sound open headery, yes. Hopefully, since the exhaust tip is back here now, we won't have so much noise in the cab. And again, they're supposed to not drone. We'll have to go take it on a test drive and see if that's the case, but I'm really happy with it. It sounds, yeah, like open header, but not as loud. I'm super pumped. That turned out really good.
our test drive. As you guys can hear, the truck sounds very good. Just so I don't have to refrain from driving the truck because I'm worried about the noise. I have another plan. I'll pop it up on the screen now. I'm gonna get a set of race bullets. We're gonna rework the exhaust system. We're gonna cut off our turndowns. We are gonna then put the race bullets up where the turndowns are. I'm gonna weld a V-band. That way I can just have one nut to tighten, loosen, and they'll come off just like the drag truck or uh, mom's rusty truck. Same idea. And then I'll just keep a wrench in the truck or something. That way I can just throw them on. It'll be quieter. The further back we can get it, and along with the race bullets, they're just a straight through muffler. They do help dampen the noise some. So I'm hoping that's gonna be good enough. I need to go with something even milder. What I want to avoid is restriction. So we still want good exhaust flow. Obviously these have good exhaust flow. Very happy with how these guys turned out. When I was headed to the racetrack, had to get up early. I felt really bad firing this thing up because it does not sound quiet at all. On those drives that we just did right with the GoPro, I didn't get above 3000 RPMs, not once. And this thing is screaming. But yeah, it's great during the day. But again, during nighttime with the neighbors, all the above early mornings, not gonna be good. We're gonna have to work out something else, not too worried about it. But in the cab, honestly, with these new mufflers, the new setup, how far back we got it, the cab noise is better than our old setup, believe it or not. You can talk in the cab, it's, it's a lot easier as long as you have the windows up. Windows down is a little different. So that's gonna be it for now. I just figured I'd fill you guys in on kind of the plan since I've been driving this for a couple days now testing it out. We do have a slight rattle. You guys might be able to hear it in the video. I gotta go under there. It's coming from one of the hangers. So I'm gonna put like one loop of exhaust wrap on there and that should cure that. All right, that's gonna wrap up today's video. As always, I appreciate all the support. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Take it easy and we'll catch you on the next one.